Hey everyone, I completely forgot to mention that I'm going to do another giveaway at the end of this video, uh, designer giveaway, so watch to the end to find out how to enter. So the other day I got a WhatsApp message from my sales associate at Fendi and it was actually inviting me to have a look at the sale items before the sale started and it really got me thinking that this side of things might be of interest to those of you who are into this, into kind of luxury fashion, knowing how it works, knowing what brands have sales, knowing how to get added to sales lists, as well as knowing the kind of things that go in them, and also sharing with you brands that you don't have to be added to a list to be able to get a discount on, and why with these particular brands, I would actually never pay full price for them because I know you can periodically throughout the year get a get a deal. So let's talk about Chanel, Dior, Fendi, Gucci, all of those top brands. Do they have sales? Yes, they do. And I think that's probably, since YouTube, that's probably more commonly known. How do the sales work? So these brands have a private sale and then they have a public sale. The private sale is where they work out everything that's gonna go on the sale and then selected customers are contacted and you can go and have a look at them. And you get first dibs is kind of how it works. Now you can either go in store and look at things, which you probably could have done a uh, year before last. More commonly, and what's actually easier, you can get added to like a WhatsApp group or a personal one-on-one -on -one WhatsApp chat. And then whenever the private sale is about to start, your sales associate will send you like a PDF or pictures of all of the items that are gonna be going on sale and they'll tell you how much the new price is and you get the opportunity to buy them before they go on general release. The benefit to doing this is primarily sizing and having the pick of everything. I just wanted to give you some information on how you get added to these groups and also I really want to break down that barrier or that perception that they're somehow very exclusive. It really does depend on the person that you get on the day. Some people, it's just how they do business. So for example, I haven't ever bought anything from Fendi in store before, but the last time I went in, in November, the salesman that I saw on the day just added me to the group. Whereas Chanel, I buy a fair bit from there and I've never been on a group before. So it really does depend who you get. Don't be, don't worry about feeling that you have to prove yourself. At the end of the day, it's a WhatsApp group. It's, they're okay, you know, for learning about sales and for seeing pictures of new products. But beyond that, that's all it really is at the end of the day, it's a WhatsApp group. I do think as well that now is a really good time if you want to get on one, now is a great time because everything's changed with COVID. You can't go in store and buy. So a lot more salespeople are looking for ways of drumming up business. Equally, places like Harrods have opened up personal shopping to anyone now via their website before it was invite only. So if you want to be added to a group, now is the time to call a boutique, call a department store and say, I would like to have someone that can help me make a purchase with the sales the way it tends to work is none of the bags or anything are included so you can breathe a sigh of relief if you're thinking i just bought myself whatever the bag is at christmas and is it in the sale don't worry they never go on sale the items that go on sale are seasonal so everything left over that was in one particular collection that didn't get sold excluding bags will go on sale. It's normally 40% off, the same in Chanel as well, so 40% off in Dior and Chanel. That can be quite a nice discount. But one thing to explain as well is that with any of the brands that you can buy online, the sales will not be reflected online. Some of you might remember, for my birthday, I went to Harrods and I tried on this Dior skirt that I really liked, but I didn't like it enough to pay full price. And I knew, I knew it was gonna go on sale. So here's what I did. I then waited until early December when the, pr the private sale started and I got sent the list and that skirt was on it. Now for brands that you never, ever, ever spend full price on them, even the classic items that you assume because it's classic, it's never gonna go on sale. There are a selection of brands that I would never spend the money on and I'm actually gonna make a blog post, I thought, after this 
listing out all of those brands that I'm aware of so that if so you don't have to kind of pick through I'm gonna demo a couple of things here including how I went about buying this bag which I've had my eye on since 2016 this is the YSL college bag I bought it with a 10% off and I'm gonna explain how the brands I'm talking about you can buy online which is good because in the UK at least, and in probably some other places, you can't really go out at the moment. So being able to do this online is quite helpful. Here's my tips on how I do this. Brands that I don't spend money on full price are Prada, YSL, sometimes Gucci, Off-White, Balenciaga, Balmain, and all the brands that I, I will link to in that post below. I don't ever spend full price on them. If there's something I really want and there isn't a coupon code that I can find, I will delay it and wait until there is one because trust me, there will be one. The thing that I do to get the discounts, and it's something that I've spoken about so many times before, but it's just something that really works for me. I use an online tool called ShopTagger. For anyone who doesn't have it, it's an online shopping tool. If you go and click the link below, there's a really quick process where you sign up for it. You then install this shop tagger icon. Your browser will automatically do this for you. So you'd have to, there's nothing complicated about it. Once you've done that, that's all you have to do. Thereafter, you're essentially building up your own private homepage, I guess, in a way that's got products on it that you might wish to buy at some point. You can create bespoke lists, so if you want to tag a whole bunch of shoes, you've got them all tagged away in one list so it doesn't clutter everything up. I'm going to use it to demonstrate why you shouldn't pay full price. And I've added to my shopping cart a whole load of things from brands that I pretty much know we're going to get a discount on. Well, I'm hoping we are anyway. And the things in this list are from Burberry, I think I've got some Balmain in here. YSL, I've got um, a selection of things anyway. It works on Bottega. You can get discounts on Bottega as well. Don't spend full price on Bottega. So I'm gonna check out now and you will see what happens when you get to a checkout page. ShopTagger automatically does a scan of the internet and it looks to see whether there's any coupon codes. So you're not wasting your time adding ones you know those ones that are on coupon code websites but it transpires they're actually months out of date or they were made up and they never worked in the first place this does it all for you and when it's found one that actually works it copy and pastes it into the coupon code box for you so you don't even have to do that and as you can see here it's given us 10 percent off everything in this list so can you see what i mean for brands like this and brand that you know any of the other brands that you're considering you don't have to work too hard to get money off so if there are classic things that you're thinking about buying even things like the you know like the prada nylon shoulder bag anything like that then try this tactic before you buy it and if you try this and there's no coupon code wait if you can wait give it a couple of weeks give it a couple of months and wait until there is a coupon there because you will get one the other thing you can do which is another way that you can actually save money on all of this stuff is that you can they've got um, a cashback feature now so you can go and look at the same bag on multiple different retailers and you can choose to buy it off the retailer that's going to give you the biggest cash back and then the cash back is saved you can say like i've got a balance here the cash back gets saved to your account and you can withdraw it to your paypal and it's really easy and then that's cash you can just use on other purchases you know when you go on a website and you're there for seconds and then something pops up and it says oh um sign up to the newsletter and you can get a 10 or 15 percent off bespoke coupon sent to you quite a few places do that now and i even know at the moment net-a-porter who pretty much never do coupon codes they have got a 10 percent off at the moment if you check out as a guest and i think the coupon code from memory is first 10. So with that, sign out, sign up as a new account, purchase your item. I am not sure with that coupon code though what is included in it. So see whether they've got any terms and conditions on their website because you might realise that those Mew Mew shoes you were looking at won't be applicable anyway so you can save yourself the effort of creating a new account. Your email newsletters are good because sometimes you get an immediate uh, discount for signing up but if you take Louisa Via Roma for example they are brilliant because they will 
email you random, really good designer coupon codes. And sometimes I've had you guys write to me in the comments saying, by the way, do you know this coupon code just got released and it's 50% off? The fourth tip is, let's say you signed up to the newsletter and there was no money off, or you're already a customer, so you can't sign up again and you can't be bothered to create a new account. A lot of websites have this thing where when you add stuff to your shopping, you log in, make sure you log in, otherwise it doesn't work, log in, add stuff to your shopping cart, and then leave the shopping cart full, but close down the web page. Oh my gosh, so many websites when you do this, you know, maybe half an hour to an hour later, you get an email and they will say in the email, did you know you've left stuff in your shopping cart? And then if you leave it long enough, sometimes you get a secondary follow up email where they say, yeah, you probably do know you've left stuff in your shopping cart. Here's a 10% off if you actually go through with the purchase. A lot of places do that. So play that game too. That is quite, that is one that works a lot. It, I know it doesn't work on Louisa Vieroma. It doesn't work on Netta Porte. I feel like it's worked for me before on Farfetch, I think. Now for the competition. I've been doing these all of last year and they seem to be something that you all like. So I thought I'm gonna carry on doing it. And the competition is gonna be, I was thinking about doing a Chanel one. But the thing is with Chanel, Chanel is harder to buy online because you can't buy online and they just make it, make it quite difficult. And I know if any of you in different countries win and you've got to go online to try and find the products, a lot of the time the products that I see aren't what you see anyway. Because of that, I thought let's do Dior or Gucci. So the winner gets to pick whatever they want from any of those brands or any brand that you like. Let's just do it like that to the value of 450 pounds. I will then buy it for you and send it to you. All you have to do to enter is go onto my Instagram, find this picture and leave a comment under the picture. You do not need to follow me. So if you get to my page and you're like, yeah, I like watching you on YouTube, but I'm not really feeling your page. To be honest, I don't do much on Instagram anyway, so you'd be quite bored. You don't have to follow me, just leave a comment. Also, if you're not already signed up to ShopTagger, create an account. If you are signed up, you can still enter because all I'll do is whoever the winner is, you just tell me the email address that you registered ShopTagger with and that's all you need to do. And so it doesn't matter whether you're already registered or not. I'll pick the winner at random. You can go off, grab me a link to the item that you would like me to purchase for you. I will buy it and then I will send it to you. That's all you have to do. I really enjoyed doing this video when I had the idea for it. I thought there's so much to be said about particularly the private sales that you can't view online and that you might not even know exist or even if you've got a vague idea you probably wouldn't know exactly what's in the sale. So I thought it was quite an interesting thing to do and I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you're going to enter, um, good luck. I really wish all of you luck. I always wish I could just give all of you a prize of something but you know it's not possible. But um, yeah, good luck.